Hello, I'm Who Are We, and today we're going to be talking about the Unabomber, also known as Theodore Kaczynski. Theodore gained notoriety for a series of bombings and murders that targeted individuals involved in the development of modern technology. He strongly believed that modern technology was evil and ultimately harmful, and thus his extreme actions were done under the belief that he was helping society through the greater good. From the 1970s to the 1990s, Theodore had a series of 16 separate bombings that resulted in the death of 3 people and an additional 23 people that were injured. In this video, we will delve into the biography of the Unabomber and his bombings, and then we will explore the philosophy of the Unabomber. While his actions were terrible, his philosophical ideologies provide an important insight into the modern world and everyday life. In the annals of criminal history, Theodore Kaczynski, known as the Unabomber, occupies a unique and infamous position. This biography aims to delve into the life and mind of Theodore Kaczynski, tracing the experiences, intellectual development, and events that ultimately culminated in his violent campaign of bombings. Through a scholarly lens, we will explore the factors that shaped Kaczynski's worldview and shed light on the motivations behind his actions. Born on May 2, 1942 in Chicago, Illinois, Kaczynski exhibited exceptional intellectual abilities from an early age. As a child, he was tested to have an IQ of 167. He enrolled at Harvard at the age of 16, graduating summa cum laude in mathematics in 1962. Continuing his academic pursuits, he pursued a doctoral degree in mathematics at the University of Michigan, earning his doctorate in 1967. After completing his studies, Kaczynski embarked on a career as a mathematics professor. In 1967, he joined the faculty in the University of California, Berkeley. However, his tenure as a professor was short-lived. Growing disillusioned with the direction of modern society and the encroachment of technology, Kaczynski abruptly resigned from his position in 1969. Retreating to a remote cabin in the Montana wilderness, Kaczynski began to develop his radical ideas. Over the years, he crafted a manifesto titled Industrial Society and Its Future, which laid out his beliefs on the destructive nature of the technological advancement. Kaczynski argued that modern technology eroded individual freedom and autonomy, leading to the alienation and degradation of human existence. His writings reflected a deep skepticism towards an industrial technological system, which he believed controlled and manipulated society for its own self perpetuation Beginning in 1978, Kaczynski embarked on a campaign of bombings that targeted individuals involved in technological fields. He meticulously constructed explosive devices that were sent through the mail, leading to a reign of terror that lasted nearly two decades. Kaczynski's bombing claims the lives of at least three people and injured dozens more. It was not until 1995 that Kaczynski's reign of terror came to an end. His brother, David Kaczynski, recognized similarities between the Unabomber's manifesto and Theodore's writings and alerted the authorities. In April 1966, Theodore Kaczynski was arrested at his cabin and later pleaded guilty to multiple charges related to his bombings. The trial that followed delved into Kaczynski's troubled psyche and his radical ideology. Expert witnesses testified to his paranoid personality disorder and his obsessive rejection of modern technology. It became clear that Kaczynski's acts of violence were driven by a twisted belief that his bombings would somehow bring attention to the societal dangers he perceived. Sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole, Kaczynski continues to serve a sentence at the United States Penitentiary Administrative Maximum Facility ADX in Florence, Colorado. His case raises profound questions about the line between genius and madness, the impact of societal alienation, and the ethical boundaries of protest and dissent. While Kaczynski's actions were unequivocally reprehensible, his case serves as a reminder of the complex interplay between individual psychology, societal factors, and the consequences of unchecked technology advancements. It calls for a careful examination of the ethical responsibilities of both individuals and society as a large shape in the future. In conclusion, Theodore Kaczynski's life and actions are a chilling reminder of the capacity for both brilliance and darkness within the human mind. His experiences, intellect, and disillusionment shaped the philosophy that justified violence as a means to express his deep-seated concerns about the trajectory of modern society. As scholars and citizens, we must engage in critical dialogue about the ethical and philosophical implications of technology while simultaneously rejecting violence as a means of change. The Philosophy of the Unabomber Introduction The Unabomber's manifesto, titled Industrial Society and Its Future, 
has sparked significant debate and controversy due to its radical critique of modern society and technology. While Theodore Kaczynski's acts of violence are abhorrent and cannot be condemned, it is important to separate his actions from the philosophical arguments that he presented. This essay endeavors to undertake a comprehensive analysis of the Unabomber's manifesto, delving into the complex ideas he put forth, the implications for individual freedom of society, and the ethical challenges that they pose. Part 1. Technology and the Erosion of Individual Autonomy The Unabomber's manifesto begins with a scathing indictment of industrial technological system, which he argues has led to the erosion of individual autonomy. Theodore asserts that technology has transformed into an autonomous entity, dictating the course of society while subjugating individuals to its demands. He contends that the constant drive for progress and efficiency devalues the individual, reducing them to mere cogs in the machinery of the system. The Unabomber posits that the loss of autonomy undermines human agency and authentic self-expression, leading to a sense of alienation and disconnection from one's true nature. Part 2. The Tyranny of Technological Progress In his manifesto, Kaczynski explores the consequences of unchecked technological progress on the human condition. He argues that the industrial technological system perpetuates a cycle of growth that prioritizes its own expansion at the expense of human well-being and the environment. The Unabomber suggests that the relentless pursuit of technological advancement binds society to the potential harms it endangers, from environmental degradation to the erosion of privacy and the devaluation of human relationships. He warns of the dangers of a technologically driven society becoming increasingly detached from nature and its own humanity. Part 3. The Call for Revolution and a Return to Authenticity The Unabomber's Manifesto goes beyond mere critique, presenting a vision for a radical society transformation. Kaczynski advocates for his revolution against the industrial technological system, calling for a return to a simpler way of life that prioritizes human values, self-reliance, and a reconnection with the natural world. He proposes a decentralized society that places greater emphasis on personal freedom, sustainability, and the preservation of individual autonomy. The Unabomber envisions a rejection of the mass consumerist culture, emphasizing self-sufficiency, meaningful work, and the cultivation of genuine human relationships. Part 4. Ethical Considerations and Alternative Perspectives While the Unabomber's manifesto offers thought-provoking insights, it is crucial to subject his ideas to critical scrutiny and ethical analysis. Critics argue that its rejection of technology overlooks the potential benefits it brings, such as medical advancements, global connectivity, and increased accessibility to information. They contend that a complete rejection of technology is impractical and fails to consider the complex interdependence of modern society. Alternative perspectives argue for a more nuanced approach, promoting responsible technological development ethical considerations, and public engagement in shaping the future. Part 5. Violence and the Limits of Dissent The Unabomber's use of violence to further his cause cannot be justified morally or ethically. Resorting to acts of terrorism undermines any potential sympathy for his ideas and obstructs a constructive dialogue about the societal impact of technology. It is essential to foster non-violent means of dissent and engage in rigorous intellectual discourse to address the complex ethical dilemmas posed by technological advancement. Conclusion The Unabomber's Manifesto forces us to confront uncomfortable truths about the consequences of uncontrolled technological progress. While his violent actions are indefensible, his writings raise important questions about the impact of technology on individual freedom, societal values, and the preservation of authentic human experiences. Engaging in a rigorous, nuanced, and ethical examination of these issues is vital as we navigate the complexities of modern world, seeking a balance between technological advancement and the preservation of individual autonomy and well-being. I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope that you guys um, like the longer format. I'm trying to use it instead of like the two or three minute videos. I want to go 10 to 15. I think the algorithm will like it better, and I think I want to get uh, more depth into philosophy. So please. Give me feedback in the comments. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like, and whatnot. Thank you, guys. So one last thing. I'm hoping to integrate more psychology into the videos. Um, I study psychology in university. Philosophy is only my minor right now, so I want to focus on that. So um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Everything's appreciated. Everyone who's watching, I mean, I love you all. And I uh, hope this can go somewhere. Thank you.